Hey everyone, this is Dr. Israel with Integrative Kidney Institute, and today we're going to be talking about the relationship between gum disease and kidney health. So let's do this. But before we begin, make sure you press the subscribe button and the notification button so that YouTube notifies you when a new video comes out on our channel. Okay, so the question is, can gum disease cause kidney problems? And before we begin, I want to make sure that you know, and I, I'm sure you know that I'm not a dentist, I'm just a nephrologist, but I did some research on this and I'm going to share the result of this research with you. So what is gum disease? Gum disease, we know that as periodontitis, it's a severe infection in the gums and our inflammation is caused by the immune response to imbalanced oral bacteria. And this has been associated with teeth loss and also systemic diseases. So actually, there's a lot of research that found that periodontitis and gum disease is associated with Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, diabetes and insulin resistance, oral and gut cancers, adverse outcomes in pregnancy, and respiratory tract problems, infections, and bacterial pneumonia. So the question is, is there an association between dental health and kidney disease? So studies actually have shown that patients who have severe periodontitis have elevated levels of pro-inflammatory mediators and markers and has increased neutrophils numbers in the blood. So periodontal disease is actually associated with low level of systemic inflammation. And we also know that treatment of gum disease has been proven to improve inflammatory markers in the blood. So on the other side, chronic kidney disease is also a low-grade inflammation state. And kidney function, as kidney function worsen, the levels of inflammatory markers increase in the blood. And on the other side, the study, the Crick study, showed that increase in inflammatory markers was associated with rapid progression of kidney disease. So the relationship between inflammation and kidney disease is bidirectional. So inflammation can worsen kidney disease and kidney disease by itself can, can worsen inflammation in the body. So again, chronic kidney disease is an inflammatory state. We get to gum disease and we ask ourselves, can gum disease cause kidney problems? In fact, periodontitis was found to increase risk for chronic kidney disease in two ways. The direct ways where periodontitis increase systemic inflammatory burden, leading to increased incidence of chronic kidney disease, and also the increase the risk for chronic kidney disease indirectly by increasing the risk for insulin resistance and diabetes, which we know they are major cause of kidney disease in the world. And here's a review article of 37 studies where researchers found strong evidence that periodontitis was associated with increased risk of chronic kidney disease. And here's another study that found that diabetes increased the odd of chronic kidney disease by twofold, and 6.5% of that was due to periodontitis. And researchers actually found that treating severe gum disease for 180 days led to improvement in the gum clinical parameters, but also was associated with statistically significant improvement in kidney function and markers of inflammation. Now, on the other side, kidney disease by itself can affect oral health by causing calcification in the root canals, gingival hyperplasia, and kidney disease can cause dry mouth and delayed teeth eruption. Kidney so kidney disease can by itself increase the risk for periodontal disease. And nutrition play a role here. So the protein wasting that occur in kidney disease has been associated with increased risk for periodontal disease. And we know omega-3 fatty acids are good. They decrease inflammation, and they also have been found to be beneficial in the management of chronic periodontitis. Also, medication that we use for chronic kidney disease patient has been associated with dental problems. So for example, calcium channel blockers and cyclosporin has been found to increase the risk of periodontitis. ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, diuretic has been associated with many gum and teeth problems. So the bottom line, both periodontal disease and chronic kidney disease are associated with 
low level systemic inflammation. And the relationship between both is bidirectional. So chronic kidney disease can cause periodontitis and periodontal disease can cause or worsen chronic kidney disease. So it is really important to pay attention to oral health for the prevention of many chronic diseases and especially for the progression of chronic kidney disease. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, make sure you share it with the people who may benefit from. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Integrative Kidney, on Facebook at InKidney, and we're always on www.inkidney.com.